All right, I thought I'd be to be to do a bit of an update. Um, made some progress. Uh, most notably, I uh, I've decided to ditch my um, first idea of the pads for the gloves. Um, I don't think paper mache is really the right way to do it. Um, it would be doable, but it just wouldn't really have the right look. So what I've done is in the pack of foam board just to get the white with the freaking zebra I had a shitload of green lizard striped stuff so what I've decided to do is use that as a base so that will uh, sit there there and what I've got here is about 10 years ago somebody gave us a whole heap of red um, what is it like red vinyl fabric it's been sitting up in the attic for god knows how long so I'll cover that the uh, green foam in that just hot glue it hot glue it down, it'll be fantastic it'll be perfect oh, what else we got? we've got the I've covered the head in masking tape to prepare a sort of a pattern I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm going to do it but I'll uh, cut off the masking tape and that'll uh, flatten it out and that'll uh, give me a pattern I've bought the fur this is my fur so I've got jeez this stuff is expensive um, I've got half a metre of long pile for the hair quote unquote here and I've got some real short pile some real short pile sort of almost uh, velvet for the muzzle and the heat in the, around the eyes and whatnot so that'll they'll go nice together so I've got enough of that to do a complete redo if I faff it up this one again I've got enough for a complete redo but it's just for the back so I don't think I'll I don't think I'll get into too much trouble with that. Um, apart from that, lots more painting. Got the belt almost done. Um, got some... Uh, I decided I might as well put the little uh, jewels around, around the belt. Um, even though you're not going to see them 90% of the time. So I bought some little polystyrene balls and I'll just uh, glue or put a put a cotton thread through them so they stay on and I'll just paint them just with acrylic um, acrylic blue um, I've got the rabbit tail um, this was a one that was already in the dress up box so that was convenient so I don't have to worry about that that's already done the one finished the finished thing of the whole costume yeah Oh, about these. I um the nodules for the head and the gloves. Well, boxing gloves. What do you call them? Um, instead of just painting a flat uh, blue in there, I uh, I dug up an old uh, roll of Duracell school book covering. This funky metallic, very very 90s uh, iridescent blue pattern. So I put that in there, so I reckon that looks pretty cool. That's like living electricity inside them because uh, who knows what these things are because they never explained in the film. Um, I like to think the energy on nodules, who knows? I think it's open to interpretation. Yeah, so I've got, so it's about those. I've got some uh, heat set, proper heat set fabric paint that are left over from art things. So we'll just be uh, pain, painting that on and I'll just put it in the oven for five minutes on 180 degrees Celsius. I think it is. 180 degrees Celsius. Oh, five minutes at 140 degrees Celsius. I think that'll be doable. So, apart from that, oh, I've got, picked up some uh, heat set modelling clay to make a little rabbit nose. So I'll have to mould one of those and then uh, paint it grey or something 
Yeah. Um, that covers it really. Oh, look, let me see here. Yeah. Anyway, catch you later.